from our Center for the Arts studio, this is your AUTV20 News Break. I'm Rachel Ramsey. Thanks for tuning in. Students from the Journalism and Digital Media Department are going to receive awards for their work in radio and television. The awards are coming from the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System. Several of these honors include Best Event Promo and Best Newscast. Finalists and first place awards will be giving out at New York in the spring. And in Mansfield, police arrest 32-year-old Joseph Salser for lighting rolls of toilet paper on fire and throwing them at houses on Hammond and Mansfield Avenue last Wednesday. Salser is being charged with aggravated arson and is currently at the Richland County Jail. Salser is said to have suffered from a mental health episode while he was on the loose. Additional charges may be added at a later date. And back at Ashland, AU is hosting the annual Faculty Art Exhibition. The exhibition is showcasing works from the faculty in AU's Art and Design Department, including Keith Dool and Cynthia Petri. The Coburn Art Gallery will host the exhibition until February 9th. It is free and open to the public. Ashland University Director Dr. David Silverberg has written a series of books. The series Changing the Light Bulb features two books. One titled Empowerment at the Tower, Leadership and Identity in Higher Education, and Institutional Change from Within, Teaching and Learning in Higher Education. Both books have been published recently and are focused on issues about leadership and teaching. Taking a look at our five-day forecast here in Ashland, Ohio, today we will see partly cloudy skies with a high of 24. On Wednesday, we will see cloudy skies with a high of 46. Thursday calls for snow with a high of 39. We will see partly cloudy skies on Friday with a high of 21, and Saturday calls for snow with a high of 34. That's it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm Rachel Ramsey. Thanks for tuning in.